Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do this kind of grungy, messy, uh, taupe lip, taupe eyes, taupe everything. So if you like this, keep watching. So I'm going to start out by applying Arbonne Perfecting Liquid Foundation in Fair. And I'm applying that with my fingers. And I'm going to use MAC Concealer in uh, NC20, uh, just for some blemishes. I don't know why my skin is just breaking out a little bit right now. This usually happens in the summer, not when it's super crazy dry out like it is right now. This concealer is definitely a bit yellow for me, but it'll do. I'm gonna use MAC Painterly Paint Pot all over my eyes. I'm gonna use a little bit of Maybelline Color Show Coal Liner in Barely Beige, and I'm just gonna use that on the waterline. I don't use this every day, but some days I just find I have an especially red waterline and that's just, I don't know, that's probably something nobody notices, but I notice it and makeup's really for me, right? So <laughs> may as well do it fully. I'm gonna move on to my sleek oh so special palette and I'm gonna start with this kind of medium taupey brown and I'm gonna use a MAC 217 for that. Now I'm just going to put a light amount of this on my lower lid and kind of blend it up into the crease. You'll see what I'm doing here. We're having a really big snowstorm right now, so I may have to mute a lot of parts of the video just when I'm doing like eyeshadow or something because there are sirens passing constantly because, I don't know, I don't really know why, but it seems like when there's a storm or something like that, there's a lot more emergencies. My roommate was just stuck waiting almost an hour for a bus on our way home from work in a snowstorm. I'm also going to put some of this on the outer half of my eye of my mobile lid. Oh, this is showing up super weird on camera. I can't figure out why. Looks really patchy, but it doesn't look at all like that in real life. Oh well, I'm just gonna carry on. Okay, up close you can see that it's not all crazy and patchy, but from over here, that does not look good. We're gonna use a transition shade, cause uh, that's gray. Okay, so the reason I decided to use a transition shade is just that the eyeshadow was looking really patchy and crazy and I need something I needed something to just kind of buff it out. So then we're gonna take a highlight shade. Part of the problem is that my eye won't stop watering. 
and it's ruining everything. Okay, so that's what we currently have. I'm going to use my brow brush, and the number is completely gone from it, but it's a Quo angled brush. And I'm going to get a little bit of this uh, kind of like slate gray shade over here. And I'm going to line my top lid with that. The reason I cho chose the larger angled brush is because I didn't want a line. I wanted just like a smoky, smoked out line. I'm also just going to do right underneath um, my lash line on the bottom, just on the very outer edge. My eye literally will not stop watering, so please excuse the mess that is this outer corner. I'm just going to use a little bit more of that highlight shade in that palette, that one, um, on my inner corner. Now I'm going to add some foundation to my cheeks up here because you can see there's a little bit of fallout. And the foundation will cover that up. And the foundation just made that a little too sharp for me, so I'm just going to blend that out a little bit. I'm going to move on to eyebrows before I do my mascara because I throw my brow like this when I do my eyebrows, so I don't want to get mascara like all over my top lid. <laughs> I went for extra messy brows today and I really, really like it. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and do my mascara. My mom requested that I show you guys a little bit of the mascara application, so this is for you, mom. <laughs> so that's the eyes done. For my cheeks, I'm going to use MAC Prism. Sorry for the repeat product, but it's my favorite blush. I use this every single day. I'm also not going to do any highlight or bronzer today, um, just to keep it simple because I feel like there's already, like, there's a lot of attention on the eyes and then there's going to be a lot of attention on the lips. I did not intend for there to be so much attention on the eyes, uh, but things don't always work out the way I plan them to. <laughs> so I'm going to use MAC Stone on my lips and I'm not using a lip liner or anything, I'm just going to go for it. Oh my god, there is so much traffic. I live in Centertown, Ottawa, but it's not usually this crazy. The snow is just like making everybody crazy. Okay, so I usually get like a rough line like this on and then I actually use my finger to blend it out because I like that look.
gives you more of like a diffused line instead of that perfect like lip liner line. If you make any mistakes like over here, you can just kind of go like that until it comes away. If I make it a little bit too diffused, sometimes I'll add just a little bit back in. I like this sort of messy look with like a messy lip, messy eyes, messy eyebrows. Um, I like that sort of thing. I think it's kind of modern uh, and grungy at the same time. Um, so if you did like this look, then please uh, like, subscribe, comment what else you'd like to see, and I'd love it if you guys could share this video. Thank you so much for watching.